there's this concept in the computer industry, at least there used to be, I don't know if it's still a thing, but um, companies used to look for what they called BIOS virgins to write BIOS software because BIOSes are super simple and uh, it's really easy for one to copy another and so the only way to really know if you're being original is to have someone write it that's never even looked at a BIOS before. So they were in short supply at one point. I don't know, modern BIOSes, there's a lot more memory and stuff, so maybe, uh, maybe it's not such an issue anymore, or maybe the patents or whatever are, are different, I don't know. But anyway, I got to thinking about the kind of stuff I do, and... Um, uh, a lot of things that I try to do for the first time, sometimes I will do it without looking at uh, anyone else. I'll, I'll purposely not research it so that I can kind of like develop my own technique and see if I come up with something new, maybe. So I'm um, putting the valves back in the cylinder head and it's, uh, it's late, it's almost 6 o'clock in the morning here. I'm getting a late start and it's really cold. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this is like the only time I get to work now, so I get up at like 4 o'clock now and uh, come out to the garage. <coughs> it's the only time I uh, get to be alone. Um, so, if you don't know how a valve works, um, the bottom of the spring here, that's there's the washer, the ones, the fun ones that we had to find in the woods, yeah. Um, and then on the top, there's this like retainer mechanism. And it's this... Uh, this guy here that goes on the spring and then there's these two little keepers and these, if you notice the groove at the top here these have grooves too and they fit over like this and it's, I don't know if you can see, it's angled so that when this comes up, I can't even do it. <laughs> I can't even do it outside the thing here. Let me see if I can make it work. Okay. Oh. Okay. So then these. Oh, come on. Yeah. Okay. I got it. All right. And then they sit in. Like that, and they hold the spring. So then you push this back down. Poop, they come out. All right. So then, how do you reassemble? Well, uh, there's probably a really easy way to do this, and I don't know what that is because I <laughs> didn't look it up, but I'll show you what I came up with. Uh, so what I'm doing is, I'm assembling this, and then I'm using some assembly lube, and this stuff's interesting. It's kind of the consistency of like chainsaw, like uh, bar and chain oil. It's sticky. It's, it's uh, really weird, it's, but um, but that helps kind of, I think, because I'm putting it on the inside of these little keepers here not on the outside of them because what um, what I'm doing is uh, putting the valve in, putting the spring in and then lowering this over the top so the spring will be like will be like this and I'll show you and then as I'm compressing this down over the spring these two keepers will come out, but that sticky stuff will make it stick to the shaft of the valve here. And if I do everything right, and I'm, on, I'm all centered, it will actually fall right into place, stick into the grooves here, and, and, and be done. When it works, it's perfect. It just, just works right away. I don't have to do anything. When it doesn't work, it's like 15 minutes of aggravation. But what I found is that most of the time, the problem is that when I'm compressing the spring down, it's not entirely centered over the shaft of the valve, because it's got to be 
centered in here for, for the, there to be space for the two keepers to go on either side, if that makes any sense. So basically, uh, as, I'm, as I'm compressing it, if I kind of wiggle this around a little bit to get the shaft to come up right through the, the very center, these things tend to fall into place, uh, I've found, and then it works great. Works great when it works. So uh, I'll see if I can show you that. Um, first, I'm gonna show you the little tool I made for compressing the valves. So this is just a spark plug socket, and um, you could use any socket really as long as it's the right size to fit over the top here. And this is a 12 point, uh, which is nice, so it gives me a little bit more clearance in here. And I just cut the sides out here and here so that uh, this could push down on the tops here and I'd be able to see what's going on and get in there with a with a tool and I'm using my drill press to uh, to push this down I've got it's in the press right now this is a this is a larger size one but obviously but but same idea this is just a um, adapter hex to uh, to a socket adapter and um, yeah just using the drill press to press down the valves so I'll show you I'll show you how I'm how I'm doing it here we'll try all right so let me back up a little bit let me show you what I'm doing here so I screwed a piece of plywood here and I've got the drill press cramp clamped down to support this it's still a little bit eh, a larger drill press would have been good but this little cheap things all I got like it doesn't even it's like yeah so first um, I clean up the valves and I put a liberal amount of oil on the shaft Put some oil on the bottom. I don't know if I should be using the assembly lube for this or oil or but it just seems like that's the right thing to do. I don't know. And then got our keeper with the lube in the middle here. Okay, I haven't tried doing this one-handed yet, so probably not gonna work, but let's see. at the end of my travel. Oh, I forgot a very important part. <laughs> we gotta keep the valve from falling down because there's there's some room down there. So I put a wooden block in here. And this actually helps because um, Helps with the angle of the valve too, because they're kind of coming out um, of the head at an angle, and so with it propped up a little bit like that, the valve can't push out. You can't see, but it's in the recess here of the of the combustion chamber. And then I got another one right here, and so now the head's propped up so that this is mostly mostly vertical. So if I go at it, if I go at it at the perfect angle, this is hard with two hands. Ugh. Holding a camera, is, this is ridiculous. All right, so um, you can see that keeper just fell over. I don't want that to fall over. I want it to fall to the side of the valve. All right, let me see.
down just a little bit. I just have to do that five more times. Alright, I'm not going to make you guys watch me do the rest of these, but uh, you get the idea. So, getting there, almost done. I have to, uh, the last thing I have to do is, is make sure that the clearances are, are still good, which I'm sure they're not going to be still good. So I'm going to have to probably buy some shims to set the, uh, the valve spacing of the valve to cam. Um, so that's the last really annoying piece little fiddly stuff that I have to do before I put this all back together and see if the truck runs. So, pretty psyched. Huh. Might be able to actually do that this weekend. Get it all finished up. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.